Hi students, welcome to class. My name is Kendra. I hope you're doing well in this morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. This is lesson number three out of a series of ten. It's called the Detective Series. Um, if you've missed the first two lessons, that's okay. Um, and if you want to get caught up on your own time, I will put my Verbling Facebook page in the Verbling chat and the Google chat. If you like it and follow along, that's where I post videos and documents that I use in class. So you can click that link and um, if you'd like to do the other two lessons on your own time, watch them and follow along on the document, you can do so. And if you've missed the first two, that's okay. You can still join in on this one, number three. I will give you a summary, a little recap of what's happened so far. So in episode number two, in lesson number two that I just taught this past hour, Detective Bosley interviewed Leela Hummingbird. And Leela discussed her relationship with her husband, Ralph. She also talked about her children, who are twins, her twin children, Emma and Oliver. Detective Bosley learned that Leela isn't all about money. She believes that money cannot buy happiness, despite that she is quite rich. She's very wealthy, but she thinks that there is more to life than money. Money cannot buy love. Money cannot buy happiness, in her opinion. And in fact, Leela would rather get a helping hand um, with the twins than another piece of jewelry. So she really does not care. Detective Bosley got the sense that Leela isn't Paul's number one fan. Did you sense this too in the past lesson? Paul is Emma's fiance. And Leela doesn't like the way that he gawks at her daughter. To gawk is to stare at um, kind of obviously, maybe with an open mouth, your eyes are really wide, you're just, you're fixated on someone. And Leela doesn't really like how Paul does that to Emma. And Paul isn't the only young man that Leela complained about. Leela called her own son a freeloader. A freeloader is a type of person who relies on the money and generosity of others. So let's find out if Emma's brother has a motive for stealing the ring. This series is all about trying to find a missing ring, um, which is why Leela, the mother, uh, hired Detective Bosley in the first place. So we're trying to find this missing ring, this missing piece of jewelry that's very important to the family. And we have no idea who stole it, and what was their motive for stealing it. So I see that some students have added the class. Let's wait a few more minutes. If you can't add just yet, it's because the first couple minutes are dedicated to Verbling Premium account users. And those are students that have upgraded their account to um, Premium, which allows them to make unlimited reservations within the first few minutes of a class. Um, it is, it is a really great service. It's only $25 a month if you do wish to sign up. If you don't want to commit to, to that, um, that amount of money, if you just want to try it out to see if you even like it, I will post the link in the Verbling chat and the Google chat. And this is a way for you to get get free reservations and you can try out the service before committing to paying the money. And it's pretty cool if, if, you, if you use Verbling quite often and if you want to make sure that you're guaranteed a spot in a class, it's a pretty low fee and it, um, it supports Verbling. So give it a shot. Okay, let's go around and let's have everyone introduce themselves, say your name and what country you're from. So I'm Kendra. I'm the Verbling teacher. I've been teaching with Verbling since January. And um, I'm teaching you from San Francisco, California. So let's start with the first student, uh, Ali. Yes. 
Hi, Kendra. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, yes, I'm, I, I'm from Syria. From Syria. Very cool. Yes. Welcome to class. Thank and then we have Amar. Hi, Amar. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. We we miss you in Furbling. You don't have uh, so so much classes. <laughs> I know. I only have about five to six hours a week usually. Yeah. I'm ho I'm hoping to change that. Yeah. I might have to. Um, I'm going to be moving actually mid to late April, so I'm going to have to take a two week break. But starting in May, I plan on teaching more classes more regularly. Okay. All right. Awesome. So then the next student, uh, I Sigul. Am I saying your name correctly? No, my name is Aisha. You can say uh, like this. And Wait, I'm say, from... say it one more time. I say. Okay. Aisha. Aisha. Okay, got yes, it. It is the <laughs> true one. Uh, I'm from Turkey. I am student and I will be an English teacher too. Uh, I'm coming here because I want to improve myself about it. Cool, good for you, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you want to be an English teacher. Yes. Very cool, welcome. Thank you. And then we have um, Gosal, or is it Gosai? Oh, Gosai just left. Okay, Pedro. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm doing fine. I'm from Spain and I'm a software developer. Cool, software developer, awesome. And then we have Tram. Hi, Tram. Tram was just in my past class. Tram, could you tell the class where you're from? I'm from Vietnam. You know? Mm hmm from Vietnam. Excellent. Cool. And then um, it looks like Gosai was able to enter again. Hi, Gosai. Gosai, could you introduce yourself to the class, please? Gosai, I think your microphone might be on mute. We can't hear you. Mm. Gosai? Hmm. Okay, let's go on to the next student, Tram. Hello. Hi, Tram. Hello. Oh, oh wait, we already we already did Tram, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, it looked like a different icon. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to share with you now the, the document that we're going to be using in class. I'm going to put it in the Verbling chat and also the Google chat. You can click it there. And I'm also going to screen share it with you. Okay, can everyone view the document? Oh, it looks like we have one more student that just joined, Anna. Anna, can you hear us? Okay, let's move on. So, um, again, I just gave a little recap. Oh, students, could you please... Um, Close the Verbling chat, or the sorry, the Verbling video window, but keep the Google Hangout window open. And this will eliminate a lot of background noise and echo. Okay. So are there any questions about what has happened in the series so far in the past few lessons? There's a missing ring, and the family cannot find this very important ring. So they hired Detective Bosley to solve the mystery. And in the, the past lesson that I just taught, he interviews Leela Hummingbird to discuss her relationship with her husband, Ralph. She also talked about her children, Emma and Oliver. Detective Bosley learned that Leela isn't all about money. In fact, Leela would rather get a helping hand with the twins than another piece of jewelry. Detective Bosley got the sense that Leela isn't Paul's number one fan. Did you get this sense too? Paul is Emma's fiance. Leela doesn't like the way he gawks at her daughter. 
Paul isn't the only young man Leela complained about. Leela called her son Oliver a freeloader. Ouch. Let's find out if Emma's brother has a motive for stealing the ring. So are there any questions so far about what happened in the previous lesson or what's going to happen in in this in this episode in this lesson? No. Is it all good? Okay. okay. So let's move on to the pre-reading vocabulary. What I like to do before each class, before moving on to the dialogue, is I like to define these words on the left, which are some new vocab items, some idioms, some phrases. And on the right, we have the definitions. In each class, it's very important that each student gets an opportunity to speak. So I'll be calling on each student in order. Let's start with you. Oh, hey, Abdullah. Could you please right. define the, the first one for us? Um, kick someone out to make a person leave. Mm -hmm. So if you get kicked out of a place, you're required to leave. You have to leave. Good. Let's go on to um, the next student, Ali. Is uh, a pain in the neck a difficult person or thing? Good. A pain in the neck. So that means that they're very difficult or something is, is standing in your way. Something is annoying. It's a pain. Let's go to Omar, the next one, please. Logging. Mm -hmm. Registering uh, repeatedly. Bugging. Requesting repeatedly. So if you bug someone, you ask them the same question over and over and over. You're bugging them. You're trying to either get them to change their answer or you're trying to um, be repetitive on purpose for a certain reason. Good. Let's go on to, could you please turn your microphone on so we can hear you? Anna? Hi there, Hello. there you are. Hi, could you introduce yourself to the class? Please tell us where you're from. Hello. Hi Anna, we can hear you. Could you tell us where you're from? Uh, I am from Spain. Good, I am excellent. From, from Malaga. Awesome. So could you please read aloud this sentence that's highlighted on the screen? Uh, fil filthy rich has a, a lot of money. Good. Filthy rich to have a lot of money. You're very wealthy. Good. All right. Ashe, okay, next one, all, please. To be all over someone, to give a lot of attention to someone. Good. So to be all over them means to be showering them with attention, <coughs> either um, physically or emotionally. So if two people are kissing in public, they're all over each other. Whereas if, um, let's say, you're just really in love with someone, you're all over them. So it, you provide a lot of attention, you listen to their every word, you do a lot of eye contact. Good, you're very involved. Next one, um, next student, Erin. Hi there. Hi. Hi, could you introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? Uh, okay, I'm from Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, in Istanbul. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, 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 I read the. Uh, where where uh, where uh, am I reading? Um, could you please read the next one that's highlighted? Uh, okay, to have everything going for someone, uh, to to arrange a date for someone. Good. So if you have everything going for you. Uh, oh wait, no, this is the wrong definition. That means sorry. I look. I repeated it twice. So if you have something going for you, that means that everything is going well. 
everything is going well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how are things going? Oh, um, everything is going well for me. Or you could say, um, my one friend, Pedro, he has everything going for him. He has a good job, he has a good wife, he has lots of friends. Everything is going his way. It's going well. Okay, let's move on to the next student, uh, Mandur. I have to uh, set someone up to arrange a date for someone. Yeah, so if you set someone up on a date, that means that you arrange two people to meet and go on a date. You set someone up with one another. Let's go on to the next student, Pedro. Can't stand mm -hmm. um, to dislike strongly. Right, so if you can't stand a certain person, it means that you really don't get along with them. Or if you can't stand a, a certain type of food, that means that you really dislike eating it. You really do not like it. Good. All right, and let's go on to um, Tram. The next one, please. Try one's luck. Uh, it means to be something new or try. Yeah, so if you try your luck at something, it means that you... <laughs> You're giving it a giving it a try. You you want to try something new. And you hope that you'll be successful at it. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Abdullah. Um, broke to have no money. Good. So if you're broke, you have zero money to your name. You're 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 very poor. You have no money. You're broke. All right. Let's go on to the next student. Ali, the last one, please. Uh, get on one's feet to become stable or independent. Good. Get on one's feet. So that means that, let's say, if you were broke, but then you get a job and you finally start saving up money and being financially responsible, you're getting back on your feet. You get on one's feet. Are there any questions about... The new vocabulary items that we just reviewed? Yes, can, can set someone up also mean to prepare a trap for somebody? Ooh, yes, it can actually. Yeah, so that would be the second definition. Let's say that, um, um, let's say that you were kind of a mean person and you wanted to get one of your coworkers fired. You, you really disliked them. Maybe you, you couldn't stand them. You hated working with them. And so you might do something so that it looks like they were at fault for it. So you set them up. It's like you set them up for a certain crime, even though they did not commit it. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Are there any other questions? No. Nope. Nope, all good? Okay. So now we're going to move along to the dialogue. And remember, in this episode, it's called Questioning Oliver Hummingbird. So it's going to be a dialogue between the detective and Oliver. So I'm going to read it aloud first. You can listen to my pronunciation, follow along on the dialogue. And there are blanks. And in these blanks, we need to insert the words that we just learned on the left. So when I get to a blank, anyone and everyone can shout out what they believe should be the answer. Okay? All right. Okay. okay, so the detective says, Do you remember your whereabouts the night the rain disappeared? And Oliver says, I was right here on my computer looking for a job. Mom says she'll kick me. Mm. Oh. She will kick me out. She will force me to leave if I don't find one soon. Can you describe your relationship with your mother? Mom, she's a pain in the neck. In the neck. Good. She's a pain in the neck. She's always bugging me to do this or do that. Get a job. Get a wife. She calls me lazy bones. <laughs> 
Don't you think it's time you started thinking about your future? I'd love to get a job working for the newspaper or something. Nobody will hire me around here. Everyone know. Oh, Ali, I'm going to have to mute you right now, okay? Sorry, sorry. The background okay, noise. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just for right now. Thank you. Okay. Um, Oliver. Nobody will hire me around here. Everyone knows my family is broken. No, filthy, filthy rich. Filthy rich. Mm -hmm. filthy. So everyone knows that all wealthy. They're extremely rich, and therefore no one wants to hire him. Detective, what about girlfriends? I thought young girls would be all over a guy like you. Girls never give me a chance. They think I'm going to be like my sister. What's not to like about Emma? She seems like she has everything mm, for her. Going. Good. Everything going for her. Everything seems to be just perfect, going well. That's the problem. She's Miss Perfect. Girls in this town hate her for it. She must have some friends. Isn't there a girl she can set you up with? My sister can't blank stand. the girl. Mm -hmm. She can't stand the girls around here. She says they need to get out and see the world. Do you agree with your sister? I guess Emma's the only girl who doesn't fall for the latest trend. She'll probably be wearing boots with her wedding dress. That will be some photograph. Say, you're old enough now to be on your own. Why don't you try your luck someplace else? I can't get a job, remember? I'm broke. What about your grandmother? Wouldn't she help you get mm, on mm, your feet? Good. Get on your feet? in some other town. So wouldn't, wouldn't she help you, wouldn't she support you for a little bit until you become stable, until you get on your feet? Not unless it was her idea. I'm more likely to get a loan from the gardener. Alright, so does everyone understand the dialogue that just happened between the detective and Oliver? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Good. So now I'd like two student volunteers, one student to read aloud the part of the detective and one student to read aloud the part of Oliver. I am. That's oh, what I want to do. Okay. Anna. Okay, I'm gonna just one second. <coughs> okay. All right. Who would like to read aloud the dialogue? I want to read. Okay, Amar, you can be the detective. And um, Tram, you can be Oliver. So go ahead, Detective. Do you remember your uh, your whereabouts? Whereabouts the night the ring disappeared? I was right here on the computer looking for a job. Mom says she will pick me out if I don't try one soon. Good. Can you describe your relationship with your mother? Mom, she's a pain in, my, in the neck. She's only telling me to do this and that. Get a job. Get a wife. She calls me a lazy bone. Good. Didn't you think uh, it's time you started thinking about your future? Good. I love, I love to get a job working for the newspaper or something. Nobody will hide me around here. Everyone knows my family is filthy rich. Good. 
What about girlfriend? I thought young girls would be all over a guy like you. Girls never give me a chance. They think I'm going to be just like my sister. What's not to, to like about Emma? She seems like she has everything going for her. Good. That, that's the problem. She miss perfect. She uh, girls in this town pay her for it. She must have some friends. It's, it's, uh, there a girl she can uh, sit you, you up with. My sister can't stand the, the girls around here. Uh, she says they need to get out and see see the world. I think this uh, sentence for uh, Elifer. Pardon? M my sister can't stand. This is for a, a detective. Who said that? Mm. Oh no, it was Oliver. I think I accidentally. Yeah. I think I accidentally deleted it. So she must have some friends. Isn't isn't there a girl out there she can set you up with? My sister can't stand these girls around here. She says they need to get out and see the world. Okay. Uh, do uh, do you agree with your sister? I uh, yes. Emma, the only girl who doesn't phone for the last train, she, she will probably wear hiking boots with her wedding dress. That will be some photograph. Good. So you're old enough to be out on your own now. Why don't you try your luck someplace else? I can't get a job. Remember, I'm broke. What about your uh, uh, grandmother? Uh, would she help you get on your feet in the uh, same other uh, town? Not unless, not unless it was her idea. I'm more likely to get a loan from a gardener. Good. Are there two more student volunteers that would like to read aloud dialogue? Yeah, I would like to. I would like to. Yes. Okay, so let's have um, Abdullah. You can be the detective, and then who was the other student? I am. Okay, so Aaron, you can be Oliver. So you two, okay. go ahead. Okay. Um, do you remember your whereabouts the night the ring disappeared? I was right here on my computer looking for a job. Mom says she'll kick me out if I don't find one soon. Um, can you describe your relationship with your mother? Mom? She's a pain in the neck. She's always bugging me to do this and that. Get a job, get a wife. She calls me lazy bones. Uh, don't you think it's time to start it thinking about your future? I'd love to get a job working for the Nevs people or something. And nobody will hire me around here. Everyone knows my family is filthy rich. Filthy rich. Filthy rich. Uh, what about girlfriends? I thought young girls would be all over a, a guy like you. Girls never give me a chance. They think I'm going to be just like my sister. Um, what's, not, what's not to like about Emma? She seems like she has everything going for her. That's the problem. She's Miss Perfect. Girls in this town hate her for it. Um, she must have some friends. Isn't there a girl she can uh, she can set up you with? My sister can't stand the girls around here. She says they need to get out and see the world. Uh, do you agree with your sister? I guess Emma's the only girl who doesn't fall for the lightest trend. She'll probably wear hiking boots with her wedding dress. That will be some photograph. Uh, say you you are old enough to be out on your own now. Why don't you try your luck someplace else? I can't get a job. Remember, I'm broke. Uh, what about your grandmother? 
Uh, wouldn't she help you get on your feet in some other town? Not unless it was her idea. I'm more likely to get a loan from the gardener. Good. Excellent. Great pronunciation. Do I have two more students that would like to read? Yes. Yes, I. Okay, okay Pedro, you can be the detective. Okay. And um, let's see, who who was the second guy? I am. Okay, uh, Mamgua, you can be Oliver. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, do you remember your whereabouts the night the ring disappeared? Oh, I was I was right here on my computer looking for a job. Mom says she will kick me out if I don't find one soon. Okay, can you describe your relationship with your mother? Mom, she is a pain on the neck. She <coughs> she is always begging me to do this and that. Get a job, get a wife. She calls me lazy bones. Good. Don't you think it's time you started thinking about your future? I would love to get a job working for the newspaper or something. Nobody will hire me around here. Everyone knows my family is fancy rich. Good. What about girlfriends? I thought young girls would be all over a guy like you. Girls, <coughs> girls never give me a chance. They think I am going to be just like my sister. What's not to like about Emma? She seems like she has everything going for her. That is the problem. She missed perfect. Girl is in this town late here for it. Mm -hmm. She must have some friends. Isn't there a girl she can set you up with? My sister cannot stand the girls, the girls around here. She says they need to get out and see the world. The Do you world. agree? Okay. <clears throat> Do you agree with your sister? I guess Emma's is the only girl who doesn't fall for the, lat the latest trend. She will probably wearing hiking boots with her wedding dress. That will be some photograph. Say, you are all you are old enough to be out on your own now. Why don't you try your luck someplace else? I can't get a uh, remember, I am pro. What about your grandmother? Wouldn't she help you get on your feet in some other town? Not unless it was her idea. I am more likely to get alone from the garden. Good. Excellent. Okay, good job you guys. Really good pronunciation. Let's move on to the comprehension questions about this dialogue. Let's start at the beginning, Abdullah, number one, please. Why was Oliver using the computer the night the ring was stolen? Um, uh, he was looking for a job in the internet. Uh-huh, good, he was job searching online, excellent. Ali, number two, true or false, Oliver thinks his mom is a lazy woman. No, it's false. Yeah, uh, false. He thinks she's, she's a pin in the, ass, uh, in the neck. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Good. So, so he thinks that she is a pain in the neck, and she thinks neck, that he yes. is lazy bones. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amar, number three, please. Why can't Oliver get a job in his hometown? Because everyone know he, uh, his uh, family is uh, healthy, rich, or uh, F filthy rich. Filthy, filthy, filthy rich. Mhm. Mm Good. All right. Let's go on to the next student. Um. Uh oh. Um. Ashui, number four. According to Oliver, why don't girls in his town like his sister? Okay, okay. Um, sorry, I have to look this question again. Going to the right one. Cause uh, his sister uh, so arrogant, and uh, they are so cause they are so rich. Right, they're so rich that the 
the um, employers in the town don't want to hire him. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. Okay, let's move on to the next student. Uh, Bao Wow. Bao Wow. Yeah, yeah, hello. Hi there. Could you introduce yourself and, and, and tell us where you're from? Okay, uh, my name is. My name is Abdullah, and I'm from Guinea Conakry, but I'm staying in Egypt. I'm a student. Awesome. I'm well, cool. Welcome to class. Could you answer number five, please? What type Thank of you. footwear does Oliver think his sister will wear on her wedding day? What does he say again? Number five. What type yeah. of footwear, so what type of shoes, yeah. does Oliver think his sister will wear on her wedding day? I'm sorry, I didn't understand very well because I'm new here and I didn't start in the beginning. Oh, okay, so here, I'll show you. In the dialogue, it says, okay. Oliver says, right here. Yeah. Emma's the only girl who doesn't fall for the latest trend. She'll probably wear hiking boots, hiking shoes, with her wedding dress. So the answer to that question, to what does Oliver think his sister is going to wear on the wedding day? He thinks that she's going to wear hiking boots with her dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's move on to the next student, Erin. Number six, why can't Oliver move out of Hummingbird Manor? What is Hummingbird Manor? Hummingbird I... Manor is, is the mansion, it's the home that this really rich family lives in. And the uh... detective is questioning him saying, well, why don't you just move to another town and, and find a job? But why can he not move out of Hummingbird Manor? I don't find as for. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, here I'll help you. We can go up in the dialogue. The detective says, "You're old enough to be on your own now. Why don't you try your luck someplace else? Why don't you move away from your hometown and try to find a job elsewhere?" But Oliver says, "I can't do that. I can't get a job. Remember, because I'm broke." Um. Okay. And then he suggests, well, maybe your grandmother would help you if you wanted to move to another town. Maybe she would give you some money just to pay for one month's rent, maybe some groceries. She'll help you get on your feet. Maybe that could work. And he says, no, that wouldn't work unless what it was is, her idea. What is feet? What? What is feet, your feet? Feet is, um, so... You have one foot, two feet. So it's at the end of your legs. Okay. Your feet. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And to get back on your feet is to get settled, is to get, um, to get responsible about your actions. Okay, let's move on to um, the next student, Pedro. The next question, please. Number seven, the last one. What does uh, Oliver mean when he says, I'm more likely to get a loan from the gardener? He means that it's very unlikely that, her, that his grandmother would uh, give him a uh, loan. Exactly. Good. It's highly unlikely. He's better off asking the gardener if he wants a loan. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Let's move on to tram. We're going to move on to the next exercise. which is a vocabulary review. We're going to match the word or phrases on the left to the examples on the right. So here, again, as a review, the 10 phrases that we just learned. Number one, he's broke. Number two, they kept bugging her. Number three, try your luck. Number four, he set his friend up. Number five, I'm on my feet again. Number six, she can't stand them. Number seven, he'll get kicked out. Number eight, it's a pain in the neck. Number nine, she's filthy rich. 
Number 10, she has everything going for her. And then over here, let's have um, Tram, the first one, please. Emma is a smart, beautiful, or Emma is smart, beautiful, and adventurous. I think Tram. She has everything going for her. Uh huh, good. So A is number 10. Let's go back to the beginning. Abdullah, number two. Leela truly dislikes freeloaders. Um, bu -bu 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 um, I would say she can't st stand them. Good, it's number yeah. six. Uh huh. Yeah, she really dislikes them. She cannot stand them. Excellent. Let's go on to the next student, Ali. Um, Cynthia's yes. grandchildren kept asking her to get a new flat screen TV. Yes, they kept nagging her. Good, they kept nagging her. And what number is that? Yes. Or they kept bugging her, I mean. It's two. Uh huh, good. Two. So if you, if you nag someone, if you bug them, you repeatedly ask. So her grandchildren kept saying, Grandma, Grandma, get a, get a flat screen TV. Grandma, get a new TV. Okay, letter D. Oliver will be asked to leave Hummingbird Manor if he doesn't find a job. Amar. A seven. Maybe. Uh -huh. He will get kicked out. Mm -hmm. He will be asked if, to leave. If he. If he. If. What? In, in this sense, if. Not easy. Oh, okay, right, yeah, that's a typo on my part. Uh-huh. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, um, Aisha, number, or letter E. Cynthia has so much money, she can afford a good detective. Nine, she's field to reach. Uh-huh, exactly. She's very wealthy, she's well off, therefore she's able to to hire a good detective. All right, next one, Bilal. You might be good at growing a garden if you try. Uh, Bilal. Yes. Uh. You might be good at growing a garden if you try. If you try, it's number. I'm sorry, I'm confused. Can anyone help him out? Number three. Yeah, number three. So if you try your luck, if you try something new, if you give it a shot, you might be good at it. Let's go on to Aaron, letter G. The picture frame keeps falling off the wall. Uh, I don't find it. Can anyone help him out? The picture frame keeps falling off the wall. Um. It's, it's a pain in the neck. Uh huh. Exactly. It keeps falling off the wall. It's so annoying. It's a pain yes. in the neck. Good. All right. Let's. Oh. Yeah. Pedro, let's go on to you, please. Um, H. My brother can't afford to buy a new pair of shoes. Okay. Uh, number one. He's broke. Uh huh. He's broke. He has no money. He can't spend money on that. He's broke. Mm -hmm. Good. And the last student, Tram. Letter I. The chef invited his friend to go out on a date with the housekeeper. Oh, he set his friend up. Uh-huh. He set his friend up. Excellent. He arranged this date to happen. Good. Well, let's go back to the beginning. Abdullah. Letter J. The last one. Now that I have a car, or sorry, now that I have a job, I can buy a new car. 
it's number five. And I is am on my. Five? I am. I'm sorry. I am on my feet again. Good. So I got back on my feet. I have a job now. Now I can afford this new car. Excellent. Are there any questions about these words and their matching definitions? No. All good. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So let's move on to um, um, this next exercise. It's called choose the correct response to each question or statement. So I'll read aloud the statement and then the three possible answers and then everyone can shout out the correct one. So number one, is your sister singing that song again? A. No, I can't stand it. B. I'll set her up again. Or C. Yes. Is it bugging you too? Mm -hmm. Good. Oops. Wrong one. It's bugging you. Bugging you means to bother. Okay. I'll write it in parentheses. Equals to bother. Does it bug you? Does it bother you? Does it um, annoy you? Yeah. All right, number two. Would you like to go to a movie tonight? A. I'm afraid I'm broke this week. B. I'll try my luck next time. Or C. I can't stand going to restaurants. It's A. 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 Uh huh. So this week I'm a little low on cash. I'm kind of broke. So I can't really afford to spend money on a movie right now. But perhaps next week. Number three. How long will you be staying with Grandma? A. Grandma is a pain in the neck. B. Just until I can get back on my feet. Or C. My grandma has a room for me to rent. It's B. 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 Just until I can back on my feet. Good. So maybe this could be a couple days, it could be weeks, it could even be months. Maybe if you're unemployed and you're out of work and you need some place to stay until you get back on your feet. Number four. Did the young girls like that new singer? A. Yes, they were all over him. B. The young girl has everything going for her. Or C. That new kid is filthy rich. A. Good. Excellent. So they were all about him. They loved him. They really enjoyed his singing. They were just all over him. Good. Are there any questions about the dialogue or the words or this series? Uh, no. No. Is it all good? Okay. Yeah. So I'm about to teach um, lesson number four in a few minutes. And here it says, stay tuned. The next suspect who stole the ring is the gardener. Let's talk about this. What reason might the gardener have for stealing the ring? Why would he steal the ring? What would be his motivation if he did it? Um, maybe he is also out of cash. Maybe he needs money. Yeah, that's true. So maybe he's broke, and this is a way mm. in which in which he can do that. Mm -hmm. And he, maybe he has lots of debts, maybe. Yeah, maybe he has a lot of debt. Good. Yeah. And he need to uh, pay them back all. So I think mm -hmm. that's the reason why he has stolen uh, the ring. Good, excellent. What else do you guys think? Maybe one of his child is ill and he needs much more money so he can stole the ring. Steal the ring, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. What else do you guys think? What would be the motivation for the Who's gardener? The ring? Who's ring? So the ring is um is here. If we <laughs> scroll up to the the tip top here, um, Emma is about to get married, and to her fiance Paul, and. She has a wedding ring that has been passed down from generation to generation. And that ring is the one that got stolen. And she's supposed to get married in a week. But they might have to postpone the wedding if they can't find the ring. So that's why um, the mother hired Detective Bosley. So 
that he could find maybe, it. Maybe uh, the garden didn't like Paul and he's a uh, pain in the neck and he's told the ring. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> maybe the garden didn't like Paul because he is a uh, pain in the neck. Pain in the neck, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. All right. So um, I'm going to put in the Verbling chat and the Google chat the link to my Facebook page. If you like it and follow along, that is where I post videos to classes that I've taught and also documents that I use in the, during those lessons. So if you want to watch past classes or keep okay, informed when I... <laughs> when I... Um, when I teach other classes, I'll update my status with going live in 30 minutes or in a couple hours I'm teaching this class. So if you want to follow along, it's a good reminder to always be thinking about verbally. Um, all right, so I'm going to end this class right now because I'm about to start lesson number four out of this series of ten in a few minutes. So maybe I'll see okay. some of you students there. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right, thank you so much. Great class. Right. See you guys soon. Bye. 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 Uh.